I work for a company called Performix. We are the largest uh, performance marketing organization in the world. So we have 19 offices around the globe and we primarily do performance-based media. Um, I am the global CEO, so I'm constantly on the road traveling around to all those locations and meeting with all the fabulous clients that we have. I'm going to be talking about the nurturist. If you Google nurturist and marketers, I come up because I yes, it is a different word, I recognize. But the whole notion is if we really are moving into this new world where advertising is really no longer about persuasion, it's about motivating people to take part in something. And that's really the essence of my book. I think the biggest um, misconception is, well, there's two things probably. The first one is that perhaps they're uninformed and our, their, our role necessarily is to inform them. When in, fa in fact, information is part of the equation, but it's not the only thing that marketers need to consider. And the other one is about authenticity and transparency and the whole importance of relationship. So I think in, in essence, we still try to very much control things. We control the message or control the environment. When in fact, if you're gonna have a relationship, if you're inviting people to actually participate with you, control is not something that is really conducive to inviting people to actually take part. I would say that the vast majority of our key clients really take about 10% of their overall budget and dedicate it to testing and learning. And what that means is they're looking constantly and actively, and we help them do that, for opportunities to actually do something new and different. And so the other th really important thing related to testing and learning is that the cycle development is a lot more rapid today than it has in the past. So something will become very hot, work very well, and then crash just as fast. And so if you don't have a budget dedicated to testing and learning, you're often missing those opportunities because they're happening in rapid cycling continually all the time. So our best marketers are actually even taking more than just 10%, maybe even 30% of their budget. They're constantly testing and learning and rapidly scaling on things that are working and then getting out as soon as they start to see that diminish. And the great thing about continually testing and learning with that 30% is they have an active list of new things that they can rotate in as things decline. And so that's probably the biggest thing to consider related to testing and learning.